Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort a data frame by month's name. All right, so here I have a, a script to generate a data frame object. And here, let me run the script first. I'll print the DF object. And this is what the table looks like. In this table, we have two columns, months and value. If I simply try to sort the table by months, Oh, this should be sort values. The table is going to be sorted by alphabetical order. And I want to sort my table based on the month name from January to December. And here, let's see how we can do that. So here, let me pull the documentation of the function we'll be using. And this function is called categorical index. If we look at the description, index based on an underlying categorical. Basically, we can use this function to create a, a sorting order sequence or send that to our index. Here, let me show you what I mean. So here we have a list. Uh, I named this list sort order. Inside this list is the uh, sorting order. So I want to sort from January to December. If we look at the original table, basically I want to create a look at reference based on the uh, month column associated to the sequence based on the sort order list. And here I'm going to reset, uh, reassign the index. So from pd.categorical index, I want to supply the uh, values I want to use to sort the table. And it's going to be coming from the month column. Then I want to provide reference. And my reference is going to be sort order. So from categories parameter, I'm going to supply the sort order object. Then I want to set the order the parameter to true, meaning that I want to uh, use this reference as the sequence and assign the sequence to the index. All right, so here let me uh, run line 12 first. Oh, I have a typo. Categorical index. Oh, this should be E. And this should be categories. All right. Now, if I print the data frame object, we now have a new set of index assigned to the data frame object. And for each index value, all these index values have a sequence assigned to it. And if I sort my table by uh, index, I now have a table that is sorted from January to December. And to reset the index, I can use the reset index method and to recreate the data frame object. Oh, I should set the drop to true. And here's the final result. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.